Hi guys, this is welcome to the video. This is this is actually my high score run of Tree of Probabilities. We're doing it on Arc Strider Hunter. Uh, Midnight Coop. I, I picked the Void Mananin for Minotaurs and stuff, but it turned out it, it wasn't really needed that much. Uh, Thunderlord, obviously I'm using Reed and Flux because I'm using Arc Strider. And modifiers, I've taken 80 power handicap. Simply because I've gained another 20 power levels, so I can take them off and still be a 540 in the strike, a 542. And the Tree of Probabilities doesn't really have a lot of enemies, and with the Infinite Forest, especially on this strike, it's so RNG that uh, you can actually go through the Infinite Forest without encountering many yellow bars. So, rally a flag, I didn't. As you can see, I've got 190 heavy. But always rally a flag. There's two different versions of this you can get. The Cabal version, uh, I, I believe you actually score more points. But I think we caught up on the point scoring uh, it once we come out of the Infinite Forest. Because I encountered a section I don't actually remember ever doing before. Now, I probably did back back Destiny 2 Year 1. I probably did do it once. But never in a nightfall. But uh, yeah. Hydra, uh, Vex and... Those uh, big eye-looking things, whatever they're called. I always forget what stuff in this game is called. It's crazy. So, don't worry about... Don't. It's hard really to, to, to gauge you through this because... To gauge you through these parts. Because the Infinite Forest is so RNG. All I can tell you is my decision-making process. Why I decided to do certain things. I'll push with Heavy. Uh, if I have to, or if I if I think it's beneficial, but uh, if I can isolate enemies, so I'll be looking now, and I'll see I've got 120 heavy, and I'm 31 heavy. So what 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 I'll be doing? Two, yep, 131. Uh, 121. Sorry, I'll be I'll be looking at that thinking, okay, I need heavy. So I'll be looking now to isolate. Uh, solo enemies that I think I can take relatively easily with the hand cannon because that's how you drop heavy another thing you can do to prepare yourself is have heavy ammo finder at least on one perk, two would be good uh, you want to you're going to use your super at the end of the infinite forest doing this strategy we are going to use our super right at the end to clear that platform and we can use it before then because there's a good chance there's more, there's a there's a very very strong very strong chances for you to get super back before then but you in order to use it and get it back before the end you ha you, you you have to use it quite quickly so if i'd have had my super coming in you know somewhere about here the next the next place i would definitely use it the next area and as you can see we got a couple of kills there and we've dropped some heavy so, like I always say, if you're red bar, make sure you've got your health back before you re-engage. We've got our super, so the next area, we're going to pop it. And that gives us two or three areas to get our, to get our super back. Because, like I say, we need it for the end section. So, I think possibly the, the, the most dangerous are the hive and the fallen areas. Simply because they've got so much that does arc, and we've got arc syndrome, and it really did kind of rain heavy in in this section. I remember just watching boxes, box after box falling. You know, and you do score a fair amount of points when you pop your super and the raid and flux. It's uh, it's still the for me uh, because I don't have a lot of the the exotics. I still don't have a lot of the, the armor. It's, it's insane. It's ridiculous how much armor I don't have. I've got nearly all the Warlock. And I don't really play on my Warlock that often. Every time I go on there I get a new piece of a new exotic. But I've got no Hunter and no Titan uh, Forsaken armor. I've got a friend that needs like one piece. Yeah, and he loves telling me. <laughs> he loves asking me what exotics I've had. So... As you can see, this uh, the enemies are too spread out really to attack them with heavy. 
you know, it, I would just at this point, I would be just burning. But because, like I said, because A, I've got a, he- a piece of heavy, and B, uh, they started to push me in, in, in higher numbers. So if they hadn't pushed, I wouldn't have used heavy there because it's, it's their only science. You know, you have to watch out, as you will have seen very clearly on the video there, you have to watch out for the elite scions because they do arc. And it's like a it's like a cannon they've got. And it, it can really, you need to be careful. If one of them pushes you, it can end your run. Well, end my run because if I die in a run, which I'm going to be honest, it can happen, but I know the night falls pretty well now. So, uh, but if, if you... A lot of people that a lot of people don't like uh, momentum. It's just the way of it. A lot of people are just so used to ru- not having to run something like momentum that they just can't get used to it. I will always run it because it's a get out of jail free card. But something I've been thinking about for a couple of weeks. If you guys, if the guys that regularly watch and comment, and you know, I ha- I have an open conversation with. If you guys would like to see me not using something like momentum, and and you know, if you guys aren't using it, if there is more, if there are more people that aren't using momentum than there are that are using it, I'll stop using it to give you an, you know, I'll, I'll I won't stop using it, but I'll do runs without momentum to give you accurate representation of what the score will be without it. You know, I, d- I don't want to just be running stuff that you guys aren't actually using. If you're not using momentum, it's 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 entirely your decision, and there's no right, there's no wrong. But if you are, if you're not using momentum, you do make stuff like this a little bit more difficult for yourself. All it is is just keep moving. It's not there's no special skill involved. You just need to keep moving. And and unlike when you're not using it, you just have to get into cover to get your health back. If you use momentum, you can actually run past the fight into a different position of the fight and get your health back so we're through the infinite forest thank god and now we're going to push the ads with we super now i was hoping that uh <laughs> i was actually hoping that that would have took me up onto the platform and it didn't don't just because you're in your super you you do get quite a bit more uh resilience while you're in your super but you're not invulnerable so you know i'm just trying to get rid of my super at the end there i'm just one or two one or two ads left take these snipers because there's nothing worse than trying to get out of an area and a sniper's focused you and there we go Sixty-six thousand. now the like i said before the rng nature of this strike i mean uh i've come out of here with close to 90,000. If you're getting the yellow bars and you're getting high volumes of ads, it's six and a half a dozen how much you will actually score. This is what I was talking about. I haven't seen this in this strike. And if I have, it's that long that I forgot. So they're all bunched. We can really uh, we can really benefit from the Thunderlord's perk of getting the, you know, the, the the group kills. Look at all those ads. It's it the thun, That's where the Thunderlord excels, I think. Yeah, it's been. I've I. If do you if you guys do you guys remember ever seeing that the Cyclops, and the the Vex. We've had Vex, but I don't remember. Maybe I do. It's actually I'm actually thinking now. Have I ever seen that before? But uh, yep, yeah, as you can see. There we go. Always regenerate your health before you re-engage. Your grenade should take all of those out. And we'll take this guy's shield down. Thunderlord. And we were just feathering it there because I don't... You know, I'm looking and I'm under the 200. I like... When I'm going getting to the boss, I like to have more than that. I like to have, you know, that, that comfort of being able to, you know... Not burn it, but be a bit more liberal with my heavy ammo when I'm getting up to the boss. Because, especially in this one, I know I'm going to have ads that I'm going to I'm going to need 
I'm going to need my heavy ammo. There was normally, the reason why I was looking around there is there's normally a, a harpy. But the harpy was there. Now, my suggestion here. I stop and I take these ads out. I probably could have drove down further. Uh, it, it it didn't really it didn't really affect the run. I'm just saying, if you want to be super efficient, you probably could miss out the, these enemies, these four enemies. So I take the left hand side because there might be some enemies. The only reason I get off my sparrow and kill them, as as you probably will know by now, is to see if I get some heavy. I mean. It, it's 2,000 points just about for killing those four. But, I mean, if you want to be efficient, you'd have saved yourself, what, a minute? By not doing that? I leave it in your capable hands. I'm sure you guys can make the right decision. You either take those four ads and get the 2,000 points, or you don't and you save the minute. It really... I, I, I would like to have... I wish I'd have just saved the minute, <laughs> to be fair, because... We go I'm pretty, we go over the 15 minutes, so we are losing points. I had it in my head that I wanted to, to do the Nightfalls within, within uh, the, the, fifth, the 18 minutes, whereas in fact, it's probably worthwhile doing it within the, the 15 minutes, so you're not losing points. So, we're just going to, we're just going to proc these two, their defensive defensive because I'm trying I'm trying now not to burn any more heavy not you know not un needlessly burning it so I've just noticed that I had a brick of heavy but too late now and it's it's good when you get the vex here because they really they really respond well to to uh to arc and we've got a wanted that we want to kill. So we're pushed to get my momentum back. And help me stay in the fight. So. All in. Fair, fair amount of points there. And we've dropped more heavy. And we want to take these snipers out. Again. You, you do have to watch out when you're pushing. You do. Because especially the worst snipers. The cabal are. The cabal snipers are, are are a joke, really. <laughs> they are they 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 they're not very accurate. So, but what the vex just seem to bunch up more. So they respond well to arc. They respond well to. They respond well to. The Thunderlord. We're gonna go back and see see if we can get some heavy, and. Kill the sniper that I thought I killed. Nightmare. The hobgoblin snipers, they are super dangerous. They really are. There's uh, th there is a strategy that I use on the Titan where I run past all of this. If it's the Cabal, if it's the Vex, they will just... It's like, the, it's like a, a sniping auto rifle. They just constantly fire at you. Whereas the... The Cabal will fire a couple of times and then then they'll just leave you to it. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, kill these ads. We've got full heavy. Once we jump up on top of here, we want to shoot this Minotaur. Shoot the Minotaur. Because when the Cabal kills him, if you shot him, you get the points from. And there we go. It's an easy 1,300 points. Now, we are going to put it on him. There is another thing you can do here. I just wasn't taking the... The chance, although I'd done it by accident a couple of times. If you if you dodge reload onto the floor in front of him, he will melee you or try. And and you actually get uh more rounds into him because the melee attack. Pot was super, we need to get rid of it before the boss come before we go into the next room. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and put some on him. And then we'll finish them off in the final room. As you can see, we've got 124,000. We just want to make the last room as simple as possible. Now, again, I'm not going to push because the snipers and they do hurt. So we'll take some of them down. You know, 
we know we're going to put them down pretty easily. And it's just ingrained now that I try always to to get a bit more heavy. It's just learn. It's just stuff that I I, I do it all the time now. So we'll take that down. We'll take him down, and then with the Minotaur, we will just take his shield down. Because if not, he'll, he'll eat your heavy. And then we will take the last last two harpies, and that is it. That is the run, guys. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, the DFA drops from this, the Death from Above. I think that's it's. The, I think that's what the acronym stands for. It's a hand cannon. It's a very good hand cannon. I used to use it quite a bit. So I hope this run helps you guys get this. As you can see, and then I just turn my attention and kill a couple of the cabal. You get the points for them, and it's all good. Very easy run, guys. I hope this helps you guys do this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want me, to, if you would like to see the Ascendant Challenge. And I've, I have also have a Inverted Spire and a Strange Terrain High Score Solo on the channel. I'll link at the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.